¿Qué tal? Hello, how are you? Welcome to my Trust Caribe tour. I'm Manga, one of the most beautiful neighborhoods of Cartagena. Next. This is a route you gotta take when you come over here to Cartagena. It's the route back to Manga by Transcaribe, and it's really the most beautiful one of all the system. So just enjoy and look at Cartagena. That is Poca Grande. Center built in what it was the Baluarte of Barahona. And right there, the monument to the Pegasus by Maestro Hector Lombana, who was the sculptor. And in front, that is going to be the Four Seasons Hotel, right over there. Now we're entering Getsemani.
famous Casa Roman over here in Cartagena in the district in the neighborhood of Manga El Carrizo Villa Susana indeed a nice neighborhood over here in Cartagena de Indias and it's a place you gotta know when you come to Cartagena remember you can book my tours if uh, you need some advice from me to your tours in Cartagena de Indias or in Colombia you can just write to me nestomelendez.tours at gmail.com also you can buy me a coffee if you like my tours and want to support me so please uh, give me a like follow me and if you want, you can buy me a coffee and give me your support, starting at $5. And, uh, you know, I need some coffee to go on working. Here from the neighborhood of Manga, in Cartagena de Indias, Transcaribe, right. The bus, right. Okay, now we are walking by the streets of uh, Manga. And it's really a strange neighborhood you find like modern buildings like that one or the one that we have right there in our backs like uh, also buildings like from the 60s like this one and uh, look at this from the beginning of the 20th century you got this beautiful house look at this Wanna see the changes of uh, over here? Look at this. I don't know if the sun may be bothering us in that part. But uh, okay, here we have a shadow. And now look what I have for you here. Look at this classical house you have in front of you. And also by my side. There are many hostels right now in here in this part of the city that are using that, like these big houses that were built at the beginning of the 20th century. So look at that. They're renting this one. Should be properly used for a hostel. I don't think they can't turn down this house. It should be like heritage of the city. So maybe they don't touch it. This is the other one that are renting. Look at this.
And that is a house with mangoes and chickens. It is a big piece of terrain and someone is disputing the property on that land. Corner house of Republican style with two floors. It is classified as Villa Tipa type B3 house. It's considered a district monument. It is a mixed use and it's in perfect condition. This is the Casa Vélez Daniels. Over here in Manga and you see we're right now on the Avenida de la Asamblea. And look at that house and uh, that house is having also like some issues with the property of the land of the place. Asadero, that means they, it's like a barbecue. When you say asadero in Colombia, it's like barbecue. So you go on learning Colombian things. So when you see there, asadero, that means charbroiled. Look at this house, typical 60s, huh? And of 50s, 60s kind of thing. They build it over the old houses. They're refurbishing this one. This is one of the beautiful houses over here in Manga. This used to be a hostel and maybe they're refurbishing for a hostel also. Walking by Manga. One of the best residential districts in Cartagena. This is the cutest street, huh? <laughs> well, I don't know. Looks strange, but the terrace it has in the third floor I would love to have it, but it looks strange at this house. But, uh-huh, uh it's nice though. It's nice, but, uh-huh, this is a closed strip. Look at this. This is so near to Centro, so you should come over here to, to Manga just to have a walk and look at how this beautiful neighborhood is. Okay, right now I am going for a coffee. You can buy me a coffee, remember that. Check out the webpage, buy me a coffee, buy me a cup of Colombian coffee.
That's the only one I drink, I'm sorry guys, from all over the world. But you know what? If you buy me a cup of Colombian coffee, in the address that you find below here, you can do me a big favor, I can go on doing more videos from Colombia, for Colombian Nesto tours. So, please help me. <laughs> this is hot out here, but it's okay, I love doing it. But help me out to go on growing, to keep on growing, to have more subscribers. Also, that you like my channel, ring the bell, and also that you enjoy. That's what I, it's all about. I made a coffee, don't remember, don't forget that, okay? See you later. That's a huge lot up back there. It's a high school over here. And look at that, that should be like a mix between art deco and modern age i don't know how to define it but it looks like an art deco building but you know it's from the 60s however that's like modernistic approach and this is totally 1990s and this is totally 21st century i'm sorry with you guys they're building a lot over here and you're gonna see why in a few minutes. Oh look, they're selling over here. Crystal Bay Tower. But I'm not gonna take you in there today. But maybe it is a good location. The name of the technician is El Viejo. Okay, he says he repairs to your home. The refrigerators, everything.
Republican style one floor house. The architect was Pedro Malabet in 1915. Neoclassic stylistic influence. The house is placed in the middle of a lot with patches of parkland and gardens around the property. Its main facade is symmetrical with the main entrance framed by a portico with a triangular pediment. Let me see what a Paul can we see from here. Has, you see the mango tree, tree right in the front of the house? Let me see if I get a better view when I go by the other side. I don't know if I can get in there. Let me check. And if you're telling me about a strange architecture, well, you see this one. This is really strange, huh? Yeah, and this one is 21st century, totally. Nice building, huh? Should have all the amenities and everything. Nice life, nice view, the Bay of Cartagena de Indias. Okay, there's a marina over here in Cartagena in this part of the city. Well, there are many marinas, but this is one of the most uh, important marinas of the city. It's located over here in, uh, in Manga, and we're gonna get into, into the view of the entrance of the marina. And yes, you have the bay in front of you. And Manga is wonderful. Just very beautiful neighborhood. That is the container port of Cartagena de Indias, the Sociedad Portuaria, which is the port of Cartagena. And this is the marina.
And now I'm going to take you to one of the surprises that the Spanish had for the enemies when they approach over here to Cartagena. Right now, that surprise, it's a prime location. You should come if you would like to have a very good dinner with a wonderful view or a lunch in Cartagena de Indias. It's a beautiful sight. You're going to like it. So remember, when you come to Cartagena de Indias or to Colombia, you have to ask for a certified guide. You should have a cart like this. Maybe you will have trouble if uh, you don't use a certified tour guide when traveling by Colombia by touristical sites. Uh, because not everybody is authorized to hang on with tourists as we can do and to give you all the information. So, if it is better, you get a private tour guide over here in Cartagena or in Colombia. And also, you can call me. If I'm not available, I can recommend you the best ones in my country. Greetings from Colombia. This is Colombia, Nesto Tours. Nice you are here with me. Thanks. Okay, there are some cannons that are over here that are replicas, but these cannons are the original ones, okay? Some of them are replicas. These cureñas are replicas. You see the wheels are for the backfire of the cannon, so they could uh, take them in. You see that they have kind of an elevation, so the cannon won't backfire as much. They're pointing to the, not the last entrance of the bay, but one of the last entrances to the bay over here you could see if any enemy ships are approaching Cartagena de Indias by this side all the cannons are pointing to oh my god <laughs> all the cannons are pointing to the bay not to the wall city that this is right there in our back that was the main objective to take the port city of Cartagena de Indias and it was very difficult for them what happened here? Marry. Marry me. Oh my God. Okay, the E fell down. I think he has something prepared. But watch out, man. Or lady. Yeah. You know, that's, that's happening right now. Like ladies are asking men to get married. Well, someone, something happened here. But when we were here, the E fell so would that be a bad omen for that marriage you will never know but we will keep you informed about that situation from manga in cartagena de indias this is colombian Tours. hope you're having fun club de pesca see it 
is one of the finest restaurants in Cartagena. Okay, remember I, I said to you, I have a surprise for you. This is the surprise. This is the Fuerte del Pastelillo. We're gonna get in there. So these are the troneras where they put on the cannon so they can shoot anyone like approaching from this side. That is the bay. And uh, it is called El Pastelillo because it was kind of a distraction that they put over here in Cartagena. Let's do the um, entrance like a pirate. I'm gonna show you how the pirates would enter uh, 45 fort like this. But there was, as I was telling you, total distraction because um, uh, it was designed so the enemy uh, wasted a lot of ammunition and men trying to take on this fortification. And at the end of the day, the, day, the fortification meant nothing militarily so let's get in like the pirates would have gone in to this place check it out okay let me see if i can do it you know the pirates have thing have better bodies than me but let's do it like this way okay just hold a second are you watching me there at least you're hearing me okay let's get in like a pirate okay now i mean okay let's do it okay we're in Puerto de San Sebastián del Pastelillo. We're in, man. Let's get down. Cool, huh? Look at this. So these are the cannons and these are the cureñas and this is <laughs> she's speaking to you know actually I would like to take you into the club de pesca and have a nice dinner with you over there so you can see all the specialties that they have the seafood specialties that they have at club de pesca one of the best restaurants in town but you know the production didn't give me the money so it was very difficult but you can help me out guys buy me a coffee at least so i can have a coffee from just five dollars and on you can buy me a coffee and you make me a happy camper and maybe i can come to this class of restaurants and well who knows i will show you how the millionaires eat here in cartagena the indias your city, my city. This is Colombia Nesta Tours. See you here, guys. Book me. I really hey, guys, how are you? How's it going? What's Welcome up? to Cartagena. What's up? What's up? Yeah, very good, man. I how's got a haircut, going? man. You got me on a. Right. <laughs> oh, you got it. You just got a haircut? No, I'm just kidding. No, oh. I, didn't. I don't have a haircut. Okay, where are you from? So I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, Atlanta, Georgia. Welcome to Cartagena. How have you been feeling over here? I've been feeling good, man. I love part of here. I love yeah. everything about it. Um, I love the weather. I love the fact that there's a beach. See, in Atlanta, we don't have a beach, but, <laughs> you know, um, I love the beautiful women here. I love the culture. And it's a really nice change of pace, man, from America. So I'm enjoying my time so far. No, that's very yeah, cool. And what about guy. you? Uh, I'll hey, hello. Unknown guy. Hey, what's your name? Wait, wait. What's your name? Hey, my name is Don. So Don, I'm Don and your name is? My name is Kevin, but I have a question. Hey, Kevin, tell me. So where are you from? Okay, I'm from here. I'm from Cartagena. Not from Cartagena. I'm from Bogota. You're from Bogota? I'm Colombian, yeah. Okay. Right. But you have a viewer base that is American? <laughs> no, I'm asking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, I lived in the States when I was a kid. Oh, okay. okay. I learned my English over there when I was a kid, but I live over here in Colombia, and I'm very happy to live here. How long nice. have you been YouTubing? Oh, about around uh, like six, seven months. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, but um, I'm doing very good. Hey, you mm -hmm. like that? So that I, I know the guys are liking. Get the views up. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Yeah. Help them out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. They're going to subscribe right in front of me in this moment. You got your phone? What there? kind of content is on your page? Okay. Okay. I got Colombian content, Colombian traveling content. So you got, okay. it's a Colombian Nestor Tours. So I'm a tour guide over here in Cartagena. Nice. I'm a tour, a certified tour guide. Look. Okay. I want to show my, my card. Show your credentials. Oh, look at this. I have my card over okay. here. Nice. My, nice. my credentials. 
And well, I, did, I decided to do my YouTube tour and my digital ecosystem. So my question is, where in Cartagena do you live in the manga area or are you just... No, I'm not, I don't live by the manga area, but I love to live here. I would love to live here. Okay. Okay, here's the... So this is the reason why we bumped into each other today. Okay, so he is a photographer. Okay. A photographer. I, I lived in Bogota for a couple of months. Oh, uh, that's my city, Bogota, man. And I have friends that were YouTubers. And now, so they've gotten their viewers up, viewership up to like 14,000 or something like that. Oh, I need to be there. Hey, right. hear me. Um, well, I will tell you where it started. And it kind of started with, uh, what do you call it? Cost of, cost of living tours. How much does it cost? This is how much a, a rental apartment is in Chapinero. This is how much one is in Macarena. Every time I moved into a different apartment, they just kind of filmed it, and people were more interested in seeing how much does it cost to live in, the in other places. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because you live very expensive in the States, you know, guys? You exactly. pay a lot of rent over there. And, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah yes. no, I co sign. I'm paying a lot of rent. <laughs> yeah. No, and that's, that's the Larry. A lot of people think so that house. Americans come out here and, like, oh, you know, for the women, where there's pretty women everywhere. Oh, yeah. The cost of living. Then you add in the pretty women. That's just yeah, the cherry no on top. It's yeah, cherry no on top. Brand. Okay, you're gonna follow me, man. That's good. Look, he's good looking for Colombia Nestor tours. Oh, well, you do well, that. Let me see. Okay, let me see. Okay, but he's looking for Colombia Nestor tours. You know, every time I get that, you know, I do it. So you put it. Oops, I did it again. I take off my mask. Please subscribe. Please. <laughs> no, that's good though. That's hey, good. to be yeah. honest with you. Okay, yeah, here's the Club de Pesca, the restaurant Club de Pesca, which is very good. Hey, man, is my wife going to see this? Yeah, I had a little, right, I had a little romance. Okay, you, we are entering the Port of El Pastelillo here in Manga. Look at this beautiful. See all those little, see, you got these little cuts? Yeah. And they got chairs and shit in between where the cannons used to sit, where you and your little, you know, yeah, chickadee. Yeah, that is a, that is a restaurant over there. Yeah, so that's okay. I was telling my viewers right now that, uh, they, they got to invite me to a dinner over there that I couldn't take him today to the dinner, but... The only reason, <laughs> I went by accident because I was with a, oh, I'm not going to say tour guide, uh, driver took us out to Playa Blanca, they're talking Spanish, I don't know nothing, but I guess he said, what's the most expensive restaurant in Cartagena? And he said Club de Pesca. Well, it's not the most expensive, but it, it uh, has a very nice view and it's a very nice restaurant. Right. And, and so, look. So what do they got? Mostly? Oh yeah, it's more seafood. Yeah, yeah. It's more like French-oriented uh, seafood, like uh, more uh, like you find by your boss. What is, and what does that say? Marry him? Marry me? Marry me? Oh, but marry uh, me. he oh, went yeah, down. Like frozen out here. This is where. What do you think about it? Wow. Feel me? Wow. So this, yeah, off in the kid up. Is, is it a cool nice. or one? This is pretty nice. Yeah. Ah, you like it? I like this. Mm -hmm. I like this a lot. So, this so what time up. does this close? Uh, uh, so right it? now, at 11, I think. But uh, normal days, uh, it's late. like at midnight. Midnight, yeah. yeah. So yeah, there's no party, it's uh, we dinner. And people were coming back. They pulled up and they docked right next to the restaurant. People walking off the boat. That's pretty awesome. So I gotta go right now. But um, that was my tour by Manga, one of the most beautiful neighborhoods of Cartagena. And uh, really at Manga you can find very nice apartments at a very good price if you wanna rent or if you wanna buy. You can come over here to Cartagena and live by Manga. And the downtown is just in my back. You see there is a Chamani. And uh, the wall city of Cartagena de Indias is right here. So, if you like that tour, please uh, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, remember to ring the bell, and also, please, do it. Love the world. This is Nestor Melendez. This is Colombia Nestor Tours. See you next time. Thanks for being here. Bye.